Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Madam Speaker, on this date, September 11, 2001, we were attacked, but that was not the end of the American story. The American story is still unfolding, as it has in my home area in Kimberly, Wisconsin, with the closing of the Kimberly paper mill. One of the workers there is Randy Gossens with his wife, Vicki. He has worked at that mill for 32 years, and he says, quote, with the closing of the Kimberly mill, we will not be able to help out with our daughter's education the way we did with our son. My wife and I are very proud of the fact that our son graduated from college and that we were able to help him financially with his chosen career. With the mill closing and our future income so unsure, we will not be able to do the same with our daughter. What kind of nation are we when we turn our back on our own American workers, when we have trade deals that are unfair and unbalanced? On this very special day, we need to look back and think back, but at the same time, we have to take a positive step forward and change the direction of this country and the direction of our trade deals as well. And I yield back my time.